priority. So, you know, when you're building a PC, you need your core components, don't you? Core 500 by Fractal Design. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so first off, guys, let's go ahead and look at see uh, what comes out of the box. You uh, obviously get the case. You get some uh, hard cell foam, not my favorite, but being that the Core 500 is so small and so lightweight, I don't figure that this foam is going to be any issue. It's very thick foam, mind you, even if it is hard cell foam. It's still, you know, going to withstand most of the uh, handling through the shipping. So, yeah, you should be fine there. And then finally, looking at the unit, you're going to see a uh, very common aesthetic here to their core series which is this faux brush aluminum here. It's plastic, but it's got a, you know, faux brushed aluminum look. You do have an optical drive spot here if you choose to use that. Fractal Design logo. And then overall, it's just a black theme, black uh, finish, bit of a sheen to it. Nothing is overly glossy, so that's great to see. Uh, you have filters all over the place, uh, breathing rather vents. You have a magnetic filter on the top, magnetic filter on the side, and then a smaller uh, little vent on the opposite side, which doesn't have a filter, but it's more for passive cooling and uh, yeah, more or less that. And as for the front, I was I was going to talk about that. The uh, vents are mostly just for aesthetics, but passive cooling because you cannot uh, situate a fan behind this, so these vents aren't necessarily for that as an intake, but more just for passive cooling. And they do even have a little bit, bit of a mesh behind it. So I.O., you've got two USB 3.0. You've got uh, your headphone and microphone jacks here. LED uh, for your uh, hard drive indicator, light, whatnot. Reset and nice little clickety clackety reset and power on buttons. And looking at the back, you're going to see an included 140 millimeter R3 silent series fan here. So good to see those still in use here with the uh, Core 500. Your two available expansion slots and which you know itx system by the way that's right this does support only itx so you get a dual slot card you're going to be occupying these two things anyway you have some uh, thumb screws which are easily uh, removable they have washers on them which apply a little bit of pressure so it might be a little bit difficult at first to remove them but they come out just fine Back here you can see your uh, power plug which is working like a pass-through because it's got a uh, cord that goes to the front since the power supply is actually going to be in the front area of the case and you'll see that once we get inside io shield so getting the actual uh, you know panel off if you will it's a, it can be a little bit you gotta shimmy it. it can be a little bit difficult at first it's kind of a tight fit but uh, be patient don't pull you just like that way you don't accidentally warp it or if anything like that but it is sturdy but it is a bit of a snug fit so now that i have the uh, top off finally you're gonna see the magnetic air filters i was telling you about these uh these are just easily, you know, removable and replaceable right here. They have magnetic strips along the whole side. That is to say the housing of the case is steel. It's not aluminum or you wouldn't be having this. And yeah, so they're magnetic. You got one on the top, rather, one on the side. And then you have your more passive vent over here. So you're looking at the inside, you see all black wiring, even the motherboard leads are uh, all black. They're not white, red, blue, nothing. Fractal design definitely uh, Pays attention to the little, uh, you know, details here. Many other vendors still leave these things colored, you know, to the, up the wazoo. Everything else is black, but then, no, a few things are still ketchup mustard, which I find to be really silly and shouldn't be all that much more money to take care of. So, Fractal Design, thank you for that. Have your USB 3.0, and here's that pass-through, which you're going to be using for your uh, power supply, which is going to be situated over here by the optical drive area underneath. And having said that about the uh, power supply, you have a filter right here on the front, underneath the front bottom. That does come out fairly easily. Just line it up with the notches, you know, shimmy it in there, and you're all good. While we're looking at the bottom, I'm going to show you the feet. The feet are like a medium firm, very nice, nice and grippy. Uh, not a, you know, crappy rubber whatnot that's going to fall apart over time. They're very soft. And yeah, they're not flimsy at all, so this is not going to be sliding anywhere. So flipping it on its side to look at the uh, actual top, actual it changed accents there the actual top i don't know what that was the actual top you see uh, radiator mounts here up to 280 i believe and yeah right currently i don't have any to see about the uh, how tight of a fit it's going to be but at some point when i uh, build into this which i do because this would be the smallest itx case that i've come across lately so i would definitely love to do a build in this maybe for productivity or an htpc build let us know in the comments or rather go to the forum more specifically let us know what kind of system you'd like to see built into the uh, core 500 at some point 
but so radiator mounts or you can just situate fans over here and then looking on the inside you're going to see the uh, optical drive area which you can mount a hard drive underneath the optical drive uh, if you choose to uh, opt out for the optical drive just leave that empty put an extra 3.5 inch drive in there Turning it around to its side, guys, you see some extra mounts over here on its side for 2.5 inch drives, whether they be, uh, you know, little laptop drives or SSDs. And then on the inner side, the uh, opposite side of this specific little panel right here, you have mounts for three and a half inch uh, mechanical. So you can have two mechanical on the inner side of this panel and two SSDs right here so correction two ssds three mechanical that would be the one under the optical drive area in the same little bay area there so two ssds two mechanical on the opposite side of this little panel one more mechanical down there and then on the front if we pop open the front here there we go finally got it removed you have another ssd mount right here now i've seen some people complain that when you route the power cable up through the top here that you won't be able to put a, a uh, optical disk drive if you want. Well, clearly, you're going to want to put the uh, SSD here and route your power and SATA down to this hole down here. That would make a lot more sense, and you have plenty of room between the front panel and this to, uh, you know, shimmy your cables in there. Nothing should be too squished. The only problem I can see is the power SATA power cable being a little bit of an issue because it's so flush here with the metal, but you should be all right. Just uh, be patient, route it over here to this corner, and you'll be good. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, Fractal Design is known for their minimalistic designs, simple, you know, curves, lines, pretty lines, and just overall aesthetic is, you know, nothing overpowering, but nothing too dull either. They have a nice finish here on this case. It's clear mirrors image of the, uh, you know, core design, the core skew, the core models of cases and chassis that they provide. It's got that same look. Uh, a friend of mine that I built his system into a core 3500. It's essentially the same front, but that's not to say that it's just a, a repeat. No, it's good to see the same constant clean lines, good, you know, black overall aesthetic. Now in a smaller chassis for whether you want an HTPC, you want to build a storage server and it's going to have a small footprint whether you want to put this under your desk or on your desk uh you know you would have so much more room to to uh, put other stuff um, uh, in your work area whatever you may want to do because you can build a nice little workstation into this a gaming rig a LAN rig i would definitely love to uh actually that'd be a great idea for a LAN syndicate if i were to build a little LAN rig into this and just have it be my portable rig for that sort of thing so that'd be great but yeah, guys, this has been the Core 500 from Fractal Design. Uh, let us know in the forums what you think of that in the comments below. And yeah, go visit Fractal at FractalDesign.com. Don't forget to stop by the website, TechSyndicate.com. Check out our Twitters down below, these links down below for the music, shirts, epic pants. And guys, remember, Land Syndicate, it's right around the corner coming up this year, or next year, rather. So you can actually visit LandSyndicate.com for more thorough information regarding the event, tickets, and the actual location. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. And hopefully this uh, chassis right here really suffices for one of your, uh, your future builds. If you want to build something small, it'll make you happy. And you'll be content right down to your core. <laughs>